Hello, and welcome to the Stainable 3.0 Mix Tracking Startup Guide. Now, this is just a placeholder guide while the Stainable VR documentation website is still being updated. Once that's updated, it will be the main place for anything related to mix tracking or any setup for Stainable. Now, if you haven't already, I do recommend the Standable version three quick start guide, checking that out before watching this one. That goes over more of the main general gist of Standable and how to get it set up. This is more specifically how to set up mix tracking and calibrate with other full body systems. So mix tracking allows you to combine Standable with other full body tracking methods. You can use Standable to fill in the tracking gaps where hardware trackers are absent. You can have Standable smoothly transition to estimation when trackers get occluded or run out of battery. And also now, with Standable 3.0, you can mix tracker information together for what I call input mixing. Input mixing allows for features like a double hip tracker or combining Slime VR with Lighthouse and having Slime VR be the fallback when Lighthouse has lost tracking, and many, many other ways to configure Standable for your needs. I'm in Steam VR here, and you can see that I have three trackers, one on my hip and two on my feet. The feet ones are a little hard to see because of the dark background, but they are there. And you can see that they are moving, but they aren't moving Standable in any way. Standable is still just doing its own thing. Mix tracking calibration is also the same as regular manual calibration. What you do is when you have your trackers here, if you put your arms out and look straight, also make sure both of your feet are together if you have pencil pose enabled. What it'll do is you'll see that your trackers have disappeared, but the proxy trackers have turned blue. This means that a device has properly links to that proxy tracker. When you put your arms back down, you can see that now my trackers are actually linked to Standable and Standable fills in the gaps with my knees, my chest, and my elbows. What this also means is that when Standable detects that a tracker is losing tracking, it will fall back to estimation and the proxy tracker will turn orange. And then when it regains tracking confidence, it will smoothly blend back in into tracking and give you the full full body experience once again. So once you have the full body tracking done, you can hop into VR chat or your intended game. So if you followed the quick start guide, this is where you now will calibrate. And it should automatically put everything together. If you want more control of your mix tracking, head over to Device Manager in the UI. Device Manager is where all of your SteamVR devices will show up. Here, you're able to manually set the role of each device. So let's say I wanted instead of, oh, this is not actually my foot, I want this to be my shin, right? You can swap that over and it'll update on standable side. You can also lock certain devices. So what that means is even if I calibrate again, it won't update the roll nor the offset. So you can lock devices, but then there's also settings per device. Each device has three settings. The first one is what kind of tracker it is. So is it a full six off tracker? Is it a position only tracker? Rotation only tracker? All of these will change how the tracker behaves with Standable. So the second option is priority. First, I need to explain the fact that you might have noticed that you can apply multiple trackers to the same role. So let's say I have both of these being hip. Now, this can still happen when you, when you T-pose. If you have two hip trackers near it, they'll both attach to the hip. But right now, if both of these have the same priority, what that means is now, since they are the same priority, it's actually going to average out the positions and only use the tracker information that is cleanest. So let's say one of your trackers loses tracking, it's gonna stop using that one and just use the other one. But if you have a separate priority, so let's say I change this to priority one, what that means is it is now prioritizing this tracker, you can see on the one here, over the other tracker. So it won't use the second tracker until the first tracker has completely lost tracking or has 
followed back to that next step. And same goes for influence weight. Influence weight is basically just how much, how much a device has influence over the final position when they are being averaged. Even on a restart or if your Steam VR crashed or VR chat crashed, if you boot back up, all of your offsets and rolls and devices are all gonna be there. So basically, you just calibrate once and then you're good to go until you want to adjust the settings or adjust your offsets. It is no longer needed to calibrate every single time that you hop in VR. Now, beyond just the device manager, there are many settings in mixed tracking. You can change what triggers fallback, how soon it triggers, how soon it returns, the fallback speed, many options to be able to, to customize standable mixed tracking to specifically how you need it. If you need any extra help beyond these quick start guides, you can also head to our Discord where we have support ticket system and a bunch of people willing to help. And if you want to mess around with custom poses, we also have a whole section for that. Thanks for trying out Standable and uh, have a good one.